Hello everybody, this is Brandon Wendell again, and I'm taking a look at the NASDAQ now, looking at the December contract on a daily chart. As you can see, we're a little bit weaker than we were on the S&P. Here we had a move to the downside with fresh lows, but the index, uh, the RSI, as you can see here, also showed more weakness. That means there's more momentum to the downside. Additionally, the S&P showed bullishness because it made a low where the RSI did not dip below 40. And in this case, the NASDAQ actually did dip below 40 on the pullback. So this is a lot weaker of an index. So we're looking at an area of supply here, rally, base, base, and drop. 15, 194.75, 15, 399, 25. That's going to give price a real hard time. Even though the S&P looks a lot more bullish and may move up, the NASDAQ looks a lot weaker and could cause some headaches there if you're looking on going long side. If we take a look at this, at this on the four hour time frame, kind of fine tune the momentum, you can see that we've got plenty of bullish momentum. Once again, we are coming up into an area of supply. So if we take that daily and break it down on the four hour, we actually have two zones within that same area. We're running into one right now. However, we should be able to get through this. And I say that because typically when you base before you reach a zone, you build momentum to break through. And you can also see that we have more momentum growing as we're pushing into the zone versus less momentum. So that has a higher probability of getting through the zone. However, we're likely to stall out somewhere before we get to the 361 area. This again is not as bullish of an index as what we saw on the S&P. It's much, much weaker. So if we're looking for an entry point to possibly join, I want to wait for a pullback, obviously, and I'm not really seeing anything wonderful here. Maybe, nope, actually not, nothing there on this time frame. So just got to be patient. Let's go down to the 60 minute, see if anything changes there. And on the 60 minute, we do see you know, a bit of a rally base rally here as a demand. That's going to be the just underneath 15,000. So 14,957.50 to 14,890.50. And I can go ahead and fine tune the supply zone for a target. So this may be our opportunity if you're looking to go long. Like I said, we're not going to get a strong move up right away. Uh, this is too much basing. We should be able to break through. So our target looks like yeah, it's the same area up here at the 15.361. So what we may end up having this week is a little bit of stumbling here on the NASDAQ. If you're looking for a long, you're probably going to be waiting for a little bit for the pullback first, 14,957, before you can rally up to 15,361. As I mentioned, the S&P in the other video, the S&P is much stronger. Let's take a look at the Dow, YMZ 2021. Once again, I'll start off on the big picture, go out to the daily. Uh, 